Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you with a brand new products by Crafters Companion. So these are Kaleidoscope Origami Dies. Um, I think it's a full collection because they usually do four sets per collection. So if not, then I will give the information below. But anyway, so I've got this uh, delicate doilies. Um, every set has two cutting dies and I will show you how they look like. So this one is delicate doilies, then we've got flourishing florals, uh, sensational uh, stars and seasonal snowflakes. And uh, let me show you the sample. So for the delicate um, doilies, I created this uh, easel card and I used um, country lane paper pad and texture card stock to create those. Um, you've got the full instruction in each set and there are lots of inspiration at the front and back. So let me show you. So there is full step-by-step -step, um, instruction. So you've got four steps and yeah, all together seven steps, how to put that together. And it shows you that you need to cut them and then a score, each um, each die cut, fold them and burnish, and then how you use uh, either I used liquid glue, but you can use a um, double sided tape. It's all up to you. So for my first sample for this one for the easy card, I'm actually cut um, each die four times. So I had eight pieces because as you can see on each cutting die, there are two of them. And then you can see that there are score lines over here, everywhere. So you need to score them and you have to put them together. So you need to put the tape or glue on those uh, sections. And you create a circle basically. And you can create either one, you can cut one and you will have one uh, layer. But for the first sample, I really wanted to, do, uh, to cut two to show you that you can um, do different ways and for example with this one I layered them uh, facing downwards well it's all up to you because for example on the second sample you can see those uh, smaller bits uh, um, uh, facing upwards so it's uh, different ways how you can put those together because I don't know if you can see those smaller sections are just underneath so there are different ways and it's such a fun way to create something and you can play with colors you can for example i've seen um another dt member actually cutting every single one of them in different colors so you can do a like like a rainbow colors so it's all up to you or for example in this one i use pink and purple uh, this is the second also that's the easier card and this one is the floating front card with the acetate so it looks like this yeah, and I use again, I cut both of the dies and this one is uh, Flourishing Florals. So I cut both dies and um, I put them together and I thought pink and uh, pink, green and um, orange will look nice. So this is example how uh, one of the pieces will look like and that you have to score them and then you can do different ways. For example, this one is double sided. Uh, cardstock you can see color on both sides the same color but then you can play with colors for example like in, with this one i actually inked this section and by folding you uh you can see two different colors for this one i actually i uh, used um the sparkling pen because i used a uh, yellow cardstock when I added uh, on those top sections, I added that sparkle pen in blue, it turned green and it gave this um, a nice sparkly effect. So this one is really nice as well. For this one, I used um, a pink card, um, texture card, and I added the other sparkle pen, which I have in pink, uh, rose quartz, that's the name of that sparkle pen and it gave this dark effect and uh, the shine is so beautiful so you can create another different effect and for this one i used um practice companion had those card uh card blanks uh, so this one is rock a stepper a step rocker card 
so i use that to create uh, this card with the same uh, die set and then for for the stars i created a z fold so i cut the elements in uh, yellow cardstock and I, as I said, I inked the inside in a um, nice green color and I created that Z fold card. And then I used the other die from that set and I inked, uh, actually not, not inked, but I used that sparkle pen in Moonstone on the yellow card and it created that green sparkly effect. I think this one is nice and this is a different card. Um, and it's fancy fold and it's like an easier card but i used one piece of card measuring i think five and a half or six inches by 12. let me find the ruler so this one is six by six cards so i cut um a piece of card measuring uh, six by 12 inches and i just uh, scored it at six then seven eight I think nine and I had a little, a little bit so that's a nice another fancy fold card and I actually use embossing folder let me show you that one it's from this uh, watercolor Christmas and delicate snow um, snowfall so I use that um, embossing folder to create this beautiful effect and I use exactly the same on this box so that's the second sample for the set called uh, Sensational Stars. And then the last one, two samples for this Seasonal Snowflakes. So I created a box and I used that, the same embossing folder here. Uh, and I cut those elements from a yellow um, texture card but at this time I actually used, and you can use it as well, uh, gold acrylic paint. Look at that shine, and I think it's matching that old gold sent you up a card from uh, Crafter's Companion with the black and white. I think it's, it's really pretty. So I hope you like it as well. So your inks, markers, um, uh, sparkle pens, uh, paint, a uh, double-sided um, card or card which has different sides, different colors. So there are so many different ways you can do it. And this last sample I used, um, I made this hexagonal card, pop-up card, and I wanted to keep it clean and simple. So I created the snowflakes. And as you can see for this one, I only used five pieces and again i use the yellow uh, texture card and i inked the top and you can't even see that it was inked i think because it's uh, so easy to do and you could actually use white card and just play with colors who play with inks no alcohol markers whatever you have handy and in such a nice way so uh, i hope you will like this collection and let me know what else would you use to uh, to color those elements so yeah i'm really curious because i thought i i did quite well with those so let me know what do you think about this collection and what do you think about the samples do you like any of those cards or maybe one of them is actually uh, your favorite so i would love to hear uh, what you think about it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye for now